Here with Metrum Boxing CEO Eddie Hearn. How's it going, Eddie? Good, Jay. Yeah. I'm chilling, man. Uh, Philadelphia, Jerron Ennis, Karen uh, Chukazan rematch. How you feeling about the card? Feeling great. I think top to bottom, one of the best cards we've seen this year. You know, we say that a lot, but look at the talent on the card. I mean, you've got two guys that, for me, are top 10 pound for pound. We know that Bam is officially top five pound for pound in the world. And Boots, I think, is a pound for pound guy in the waiting. Both got their mandatories to take care of. But look at the card. You know, across the board, you've got Ray Ford. I feel like he's probably the best 130 pounder in the world. Him and Sugar Nunes. Um, you've got Amo Williams returning to action. You've got Khalil Co. I think he's a world champion in waiting at 175. Um, you've also got Tito Mercado against Sriracha in a brutal war, that is. Um, you've got Zachary Moses making his professional debut. Ismail Mohammed, um, Dennis Thompson. I said Amo Williams. You know, this is a. You talk about talent coming through in America. This is the absolute cream of the crop. You're watching on Saturday night. We're going to have over 10,000 in there again um, at the Wells Fargo. It's going to be an amazing night. This is one of the deepest cards that I've seen as of late, as far as with guys who are going to be something in the future. Um, what are you expecting in the main event with Jerron and his you know, and, uh, I'm, going ask, I'm going to ask Judezi in the question today. You know, in that first fight, you box defensively. Some say you ran. What are you going to do? Because you ain't going to win the fight running. So my question to you is, are you here for the paycheck? Or are you here to win the world title? Because you cannot do it on the back foot running away from boot tennis. Bam has a very tough fight. This kid just went to Australia and beat Maloney over there. He can really fight, honestly. This is a very, very tough fight. Um, and you know, everyone's talking about these fights for Bam, whether it's Puma Martinez, whether it's Chocolatito. These are the kind of fights where you can come a little bit unstuck. So Bam's got to be 100% on it at the weekend. How real is a possible fight with Bam and Nakatani in the future? Brilliant fight. You know, we, we love that fight. We, he has to fight the champions. And we're ready to, to fight the champions if he gets through the mandatory on Saturday.